Hello everybody, welcome back to Language Litigation Integration Part 163, Casual Conversations 81. You know how we do it! I'm the host, I'm being fucking tortured by illiterate people, which is always a fun experience, except it's never a fun experience because you're not going to do anything with your life, because it just steals all of your shit and lies about it. And so, we have our current events and talking points, we have relevant and random stories, and honestly, I just haven't been able to stop rejoicing. I can't believe Iger's back, baby. Iger's just back. And so I've just been in such an elated and rejoiceful mood. Radoisia, Iger's back. And Chape Heck, he's been, he be, he, he be moving the money over to Disney Plus and not, not boosting the profits. But everything has now been solved that baby Iger is back. I just can't fucking believe that. So, and I didn't know who Iger was, but he's back, baby. So, honestly, that made me fucking laugh. So current current events and talking points, well, the random stories. Just said that. Uh, let's start off with a story. I slept yesterday probably for the first time more than probably four hours consistently in probably three years. So like I said, I've never slept consistently at any point in my entire life. I've never felt safe enough to generate a, the ability to sleep consistently. If you don't feel safe, you can't sleep. It's that fucking simple. Um, but so yesterday, again, I told you, I told you my routine. And so, again, yeah, I'm pretty much doing dinner around 5 to 7, and after that, I'm pretty much like, what the fuck do I do for the rest of the day? I just pretty much go to bed. So, yesterday, I clocked in, I clocked in bedtime, it had, it had to be like 7.15. And I was just sitting there bored as fuck, you know, gotta, gotta get through the winter solstice. You know, when I was talking with my mom the other day, she was like, for some reason, again, like, again, she's not gonna, I'm not a scientist, I'm still not a scientist, and in any general conversation, I have no idea what the winter solstice is. But talking with my mom, she was like, yeah. For some reason, once December 21st comes, then the days get longer. It's like, yeah, as the most prolific physicist in history, I know what the winter solstice is and what, what, what date it is as well. But will I ever be respected as an adult or a professional? Absolutely not. Am I surrounded by anybody who are biologically older than me that have any capacity for maturity, behavior, decency, respect, understanding, competence, law enforcement, anything? No, that's just absolutely fucking not. And so yesterday, I clocked in about 7 o'clock. I told you to take a big bong rip, and then I uh, fall asleep for about three hours at a time. I do two to three chunks of those a day. So I'm, I'm getting six to, six to nine hours of sleep, sometimes 12, if again, I just, I just sit there all fucking day. If I just, again, go to bed at eight, don't get out of bed till eight, it's like, I call it 12 hours, but I'm not like, sleeping the whole time. But woke up around 10 o'clock, or probably went to bed around 7.15, probably woke up around 11.15, and just sat outside until about, about three in the morning, had a couple more beers, and then I, uh, then I, did, uh, then I did another big bong rip, and I slept for probably about a 3.15 of 4 to all the way till 10. So the first time I had a 6-hour chunk of sleep, and, I, and I, I'm not kidding, probably 3 years. And again, prolonged, um, prolonged periods without sleep is known and identified torture. So I'm telling you I'm being profoundly and excessively tortured. I'm not fucking kidding. But I just wanted to document that. That was the first time. So when I come back and fuck your guys' lives and tell your fucking families their fucking careers are fucking over, I haven't been able to eat and sleep consistently. My... Sleep consistently my entire life, eat consistently in the past, again, since I've been 22 to 23. S simply because of social isolation and legitimately nobody's capable of moral behavior. But, but book club's going well. So that was, that's a fun activity that I started. But I guess we'll get into it now. So we had Colorado deputies indicted and fired after a fatal shooting of a man, 22, who called 9-11 for help. Christian Glass was the victim. He was stuck in the car. He called 911. He was a pathetic, weird fuck, refused to get out of the car, and he had knives. Then we have Andrew Buen and Kyle Gould of the Clear Creek County indicted. I think Buen got second degree murder and Gould got negligent homicide. So, again, as always, someone calls, literally, literally his car is stuck in a ditch. He calls police for help. The police get offended. They get it. They get, they get offended because they just get offended about everything. They just can't wait to fucking shoot somebody. They're disgusting, nasty, worthless, worthless fucking animals. The world would be better if they were never fucking born. And so the kid, again, a weird fuck, I don't know, anxiety, weird fuck, I don't know why he wouldn't get out of the fucking car when he called them for help. No idea why he wouldn't do that. But it was like a 70 minute standoff. And then they, they break the window with the baton, then they taser him, and then they shoot him. And again, he has, he called them for help, negotiating for an hour, and then they kill him. 
So let me, let, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me just throw an idea out there. So you have a kid stuck in a ditch and he calls you and he, and he wants help and then he refuses, refuses to get out of his car. Why not the fucking leave? Just, just leave. He's not being homicidal. He's not being suicidal. I always love when people are being suicidal and the cops kill. That's always, that's always a good. So that makes sense. <laughs> but uh, we're here to protect and serve you. I want to kill myself. No, let us do it. But again, why not just leave this dude? If he's being a whiny bitch and won't get out of his car and he's not doing any crimes and he calls you for help, why not just leave? But of course now we gotta execute him, because we gotta offend it. We're trying to help you, we're trying to help you, let me help, let me help, let me help, bam, 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 he's not applying, well, well, well. Well, another good fucking Andrew Buen and Kyle Gould. If your dumb whores of mothers wouldn't lay on her stupid fucking back and bust over her nasty, fat fucking pussy, and have your dads come on her nasty fucking pussy, then you wouldn't have to kill people. Because they don't, your parents don't know how to behave, and Andrew Buen and Kyle Gould of Clear Creek County, Colorado, don't know how to fucking behave. So I'm glad to see second-degree murder, negligent homicide, obviously, but they should never be allowed into society at all. If they get out, if they're ever allowed to walk around on this fucking planet again, do not let them into restaurants, do not let them into libraries, do not let them into resorts, do not let them into sports stadiums, do not let them socialize. Fucking nasty fucking animals. Again, that's Andrew Buen and Kyle Gould of Clear Creek County, Colorado. Fuck boys in blue. You guys are just... You guys are the biggest gang in the fucking world. Just like Gary Lewis Jr. Just like Deputy Robbins. Just like Bill Kosicki. Just like Mike DeWine. Just like President Biden. Just like a Andrew Blinken. Fucking worthless pieces of fucking shit. And your kids go to school and steal from me. That's all they will ever do in their lives is come and steal. Because you're so privileged and you're so stupid. Fuck you people. Be nice. Fucking die the fuck off. My GE drying machine has a downloaded drying mode. What the fuck does that mean? Literally, I have a washing machine and drying machine. And one of my, one of my I can turn the knob and it says downloaded. Am I going to download some files? Am I going to get us some megabits per second on my, on my uh, clothes? So again, people use words. They have no idea what the fuck they mean. They think context defines a variable, and then you get downloaded on a fucking, on a fucking drying machine. And I have no idea what that means. I'm assuming it means like less of a load. Like... Here's your standard load, but it's downloaded. It's less of a load, but downloaded on my drying machine. What the actual fuck does that mean? I, I have no idea. Can we can we use words appropriately? No, we just blurt out random shit because we can't fucking shut the fuck up, listen, and say words we know. I watched the Full Send podcast with Billy McFarland. It's kind of an interesting story. I'd never heard of this dude before. It was an interesting story. I recommend the episode. He, he, he was the founder of the FIRE Festival, F-Y-R-E, and he defrauded investors out of $27.4 million in about four months trying to start a music festival. So it was a two-weekend music festival that canceled with frauds, lies, and exaggeration. So it's an interesting case to me because it seemed like a, a genuinely just an entrepreneur trying to get stuff going and then, and then exaggerating and lying to the investors. And he said multiple times in the interview that if he just would have been open with them, he probably wouldn't have um, gotten to that point or something. Just another, another case of, again, I think he was, he's 30 now. He's, he was sentenced to six years, did four. Um, $26 million in restitution, and he's been out of jail for two months. So the president didn't hear, hear of this at all, because I've been doing this for again, about four or five years now. But... So again, another an entrepreneur. He's got to. He's got to. He's got to be the leader. He's got to be the best. He's got to do this. He's got to do this. He's got to buy the planes. And then he's just. He's just a 24 year old looking for attention. And then, well, he's going to exaggerate money to some people. And then he gets caught with fraud. So, I, I just go watch the episode. It's an interesting story. It was fraudulent, but it was again more less Sam Bankman Freed and Bernie Madoff type of fraud. And it was certainly fraudulent, but it was just, it just more of an interesting story again, seeing somebody who doesn't know how to behave and breaking the law in a less severe way, as opposed to global government saying, we're gonna legislate people who have worked on UFO cases don't have to take any responsibility for committing treason for 60 years. But if you defraud people out of $27 million, you're gonna go to jail for six years, because $27 million, as opposed to the most profound psychological and uh, scientific discovery in human history, well, the death and suffering that's been caused by that is profound, so we just, once the crime gets big enough, we just really don't care anymore. And so, he says, if you lose 25 to 30, you've lost some of the best years of your life. Oh, that would be cool. I've lost every year of my life, so I wouldn't know. But I'm, you know, I'm closing in on that 30. I've literally not lived or experienced one minute of, of normal human existence ever. To any extent, at any point of time, proportional to what was expected or owed to me at my life at that time. At 13 years old, I did not solve all science. 
I had, I had, if I had ever been exposed to what is scientific research, I would have solved all the mathematics in like five seconds. But of course, again, our middle-aged men and women can't tell anybody what research is. We have to play games all day at school and play tests and games and tests and games and tests and games. And you get to college and realize none of this shit is anything close to what research is. And so, that's good. But I've lost every year of my life. At the same time, I don't care. It's like I'm so present. I don't give a fuck. It's not like I don't think 25 to 30 is the best years of your life. I don't think high school is the best years of your life. I don't think 30 to 35 is the best years of your life. You're just alive. You make the best out of the day. You can carpe diem if you're not being forced into fucking slavery like me. But it's just amazing. Again, you can commit fraud. You can go to jail for a couple of years. You can come back out and start another fucking business and be 30. And I'm going to be 30. And I've done nothing but the right things. I've done everything that everyone has asked of me better than they've expected it. And I've gotten punished to the point where I can't eat and sleep consistently. Literally last night was the first time I've slept for more than three consecutive hours in probably three and a half fucking years. I am begging people to allow me to take care of my health. Because they're so illiterate and so selfish and so just goddamn incompetent. You do not know how these researchers or practitioners of science or medical doctors or PhDs or fucking anything. You just lie and steal. So all I'm asking you is to release my property so I can take care of my health. That is all I'm fucking asking. And you savages like to watch me fucking suffer. So go invest in Billy McFarland again, another worthless fucking animal. But he tried to do a podcast from prison, and that got him seven months in solitary. I thought that was fucking hilarious. He just doesn't know when to stop. He just gotta keep going, go, 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 gotta get the beat drops, gotta go to the next club, the next private jet, the next model with fucking balloons for lips. We're just, we're just out here winning. And then he's, his next business is pirate private hotel for creators and entrepreneurs with an app to impact what's occurring there in the Bahamas. Would not invest in this dude, anyone that committed fraud. Like I said before, if someone failed at a business but not fraudulent, I would probably, if the next idea was decent, I'd have some experience of trying to do businesses. But after someone commits fraud, absolutely fucking not. Um, but just the idea in general, no, I think it's fucking stupid. Uh, uh, a special hotel for creators and entrepreneurs. I don't know if you scroll YouTube as many times as I do, which is like 70 times a day, minimum. But no one's doing that much crop content creation. So you, 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 you launch your first video, and then you have he, he, Huberman Lab just launched their 100 thing after again committing fraud, and Lex Friedman and Andrew Huberman must go to fucking prison. Anybody in any sort of academic thing, business owner, and, and government officials committing treason absolute, must face capital punishment for treason. Business owners and academics must face fraud, racketeering, and conspiracy to the highest level possible. And so we just launched our 100th episode of the Huberman Lab podcast, and we watched this number of the Compound and Friends with Ben and Michael and Josh Brown. He's going to run out of stuff to talk about. And now Billy McFarlane's going to open up this great, great hotel just for entrepreneurs and content creators. Do hotels work? Yeah. Would I invest in a hotel? Yeah. Do I think there's some sort of special thing for creators and entrepreneurs? I think it's a good idea. Do I think it works in practice? No. The only one producing content constantly is me. And I don't need a special hotel to inspire and talk to people. I don't fucking need that shit. I need to stop getting tortured, which that's never gonna happen. I'm talking about like an app where you can like vote on stuff. It's like I don't think people are gonna care. So a hotel might work. I don't think there's any edge for creators and entrepreneurs and the pirate experience. I don't think it's gonna work. A defrauded investor reached back out after writing to the judge demanding a life sentence. How would I respond? Meaning, Billy McFarland defrauded these people. The, one of the defrauded investors said, you know, I want this dude in jail for the rest of his life. And some times go by, then the investor reaches back out and wants to connect. Again, I want to commit fraud. I don't know if people that respect, respect for people that commit fraud. Um, if I was the one committing fraud and someone said, you know, I, I want your whole life thrown away after $27 billion, I would not reconnect. I would not give a fuck. You know, I don't care about friends in general. When I say I want friends, I want to socialize. Like, I, want, I want to commit work and get paid money. I want a red carpet and a party every day. But hey, again, you can commit fraud, go to jail, come back out, and everyone's just buddy buddies. Just a bunch of fucking hamsters, man. It's fucking disgusting. Human beings are fucking disgusting. The legacy is how you fucking treated me. Now you've treated everybody else. He said, I'm not judging you. Aaron, God's not going to judge you. Jesus isn't going to judge you. You're going to judge yourself around the people you've affected. Good and fucking bad. And so just... Keep, keep, keep just being horny fucking animals that have no, that are so privileged you don't have to have any decision making still skills and then just enjoy the most privileged world, in the, the most privileged society in the fucking world that's ever fucking existed on planet Earth. Fucking disgusting. Human beings are fucking gross. 
The great Herschel Walker versus Raphael Warnock battle it out in the Georgia runoff election for outright Senate majority. Oh, sweet. Again, can I sell healthier alcohol? No. I don't care. But we have a big, we have a big thing. Are people going to legalize cannabis and prescribe it? No. Is there any other piece of legislation that could possibly pass that directly affects public health in the most imminent and pro prominent way possible? No. So again, we have to, you have to walk before you run. You have to legalize cannabis before you do anything else fucking meaningful and prescribe it. You have to do the fucking actions that make the fucking sense. But, you know, I, I just fucking, come on, Vlad, give us, give us World War III. Come on, Xi, go, go into Taiwan. Let's go for World War III. Let's get a big purge and clear everybody the fuck out. It's disgusting. Human beings are fucking disgusting. Do things that limit death. If you don't know how to fucking behave, listen to me who does know how to fucking behave. Herschel Walker shouldn't be allowed to be around anything. I don't really know anything about Raphael Warnock, and I don't fucking care about the Senate majority. If, if, if we already had the dead, you know, I'm not a Democrat, but there's already Democratic. If, if legalized cannabis, Chuck Schumer tweeting, it will be legalized by 420 of this past year. Nope. Then I don't, I don't care. I'm trying to start a business and a family. So why I want to start a business? Why well, I've already started businesses. I just want my fucking property so I can just leave this country. I would never start a family in those third world, nasty, filthy fucking country. America is fucking disgusting. Yeah, Herschel Walker and Raphael Warnock. Who cares? Both your stupid, dumb fucking kids. Well, except for the one that Herschel Walker paid for the abortion as he's voting against abortion. Except for that stupid fucking kid that Herschel Walker had. He just stuffed his big monkey dick in some nasty fucking pussy and jizzes and a dumb monkey comes out. And now he's like, oh, it doesn't let the monkey come out. And he's like, no, not for other people. No, yeehaw. Oh, I'm Herschel Walker. Uh, what is he, play football? Oh, oh yeah, he's a monkey. Play games all day and come. And then you get a Herschel Walker. The world would be better without you. Not a statement of violence. England versus USA World Cup ends in nil-nil. Didn't watch that at all. Obviously saw people tweeting about it. And the Ohio State University plays that team up north. They're both 11-0. Two, number two versus number three. Watch the first half of that, you know, on Saturdays and fucking dick nothing on the news cycle or or anything else, and I have no friends or family, so watch the first half of that. Obviously rooting for Michigan. Again, at this point I hate all the universities because they're all still my property. And when I just look at the stands in front of a hundred thousand people, and every one of their dumb fucking kids at that school is stealing from me. Every dumb fucking teacher at that school is fucking stealing me. Every dumb fucking family in this community is bending from me and stealing from me. And nobody will help me personally, and I can't eat and sleep properly. They get to go play games, play games and come. That's all they've ever fucking done. That's all I've ever, anybody I've ever met, that is all they've ever fucking done with their lives. They'll never be educated. They never care about their community. They never give back. They'll never educate themselves. They'll never contribute to anything. They'll never start businesses. They will just torture people and say, not my fucking problem. And they go watch the football game. <laughs> so I'm glad I wish you lost. Fuck every Ohio State fan, every Ohio State fucking family. Oh, uh, yeah. But that team up north, oh yeah, we can't be saying the M-word. Not the Michigan, not the Michigan team. <laughs> Fucking dumb animals. So again, I gave another ring to the Cincinnati FBI because I'm literally being tortured. I'm literally trying to report crime every single day. And again, I, I get the, the direct go-through to some bitch, and she's like, I just, she picks up, and I'm just like, what's your name? She says, I can't give you that information. You're denying information to a federal judge. The reason I am not a federal judge at the highest merit ever. Again, you walk into courtrooms, and every court in this fucking, on this planet says, and God we trust. I'm smarter than that guy, about 200 IQ points, and it's proven on the internet. You just have to fucking listen. And so if I ask you your fucking name in a legal context, and because you're committing so much fucking crime, you say, I can't give you that information? Okay. I want every single person in the Cincinnati office and the, the Columbus office, full, full social isolation, full shunning, lawsuits, criminal thing. Again, sorry, I've already said this. Let me go to fucking court. Stop torturing me. And she just, she says it. And I just say, tell your bosses they are fucking committing treason and they're going to take full responsibility for their, their actions. And she says, okay, and then hangs up. The dumbest fucking cunt, man. I hate law enforcement. You guys are torturing me. You are literally hurting me. You literally don't care. And I would literally put you in this fucking earth. So again, keep pissing me off. Keep saying okay. And I ask her how fat she was. And then she just goes silent. Guarantee she's a fucking whale. A woke whale. You guys are woke. I'm awake. We are not the same. And so I can't give you that information. No, no fucking problem, bitch. I'll fucking figure it the fuck out. Just like Chris Tarbell says, you know, after five years of witness protection, if you want the FBI to protect you, good luck. Yeah, fucking good luck. You guys are torturing me.
torturing me, and I've taught your stupid fucking children. That's how you guys behave. There's another dumb bitch that lays on her fucking back, fat as fuck, waiting for some nasty ape with 63% less sperm count these days to, to juggle a humper for three minutes to come and to lay back down and go to sleep like the pathetic fucks they are and never contribute anything to their society besides hanging up the phone on me. T tables will turn, TikTok, you guys are committing treason and I will show leniency to fucking nobody. And can we keep committing more crimes? Every day you actually steal more fucking of my property. You actually fucking harass me more. You intimidate me more. You commit more racket. You commit more conspiracy. You commit more fraud every fucking day. And you dumb monkeys have a fucking badge and a fucking gun and can fucking shoot me. Nasty, nasty fucking people. A man falls off a carnival cruise ship and is found alive and is responsive in the Gulf of Mexico 15 hours later. It's the longest I've heard of the experts. Interesting. Again, yeah. I mean, 15 hours in the open water, even if it's warm. I, I just sit there saying to myself, go tread water for 15 hours in a pool, and I'm like, fucking no chance. But obviously, if you, th you go overboard, you don't really have a choice. You're either gonna, you're gonna try to tread water, or you're gonna die. So, good for that guy. Definitely an interesting story of human survival and the will to live. Elon Musk says he'll make an alternative phone if Apple and Google get rid of the Twitter app. I bet Elon Musk is fucking broke. Like he probably, he's probably too popular, too famous now to actually go literally broke. But I hope he goes to zero. He's just, he's just a fucking stupid, nasty fucking person. Legalize cannabis, publish my fucking paper, and the rest of that is, and everything else is irrelevant. It really fucking is. There's certain points in history where people have to shut the fuck up and listen. We're reading the most important history book about someone that was really smart in the past. But will we ever listen to science? No. We'll demonize Brad. We'll kick him out. Jesus faced hatred of the people first before they loved him. Yeah, I'm not, I don't think I'm ever going to get to the love stage, honestly. And if you love me, I don't love you. <laughs> well, fuck no. I just got tortured for 22 straight fucking years. And it's not, no end. It's not going to stop. So Elon Musk, if, if, you don't, if you don't like Twitter, I'll just make another phone. I'll just do this. I'll just do this. I'll just keep go, 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 go. Idiot. Fucking idiot. He's never really innovated himself, anything himself. So he's going to make an alternative phone. He had to put a short circuit more than him trying to speak. University of Cambridge Dean causes tears after suggesting Jesus may have been transgender. Transgender doubted homosexual almost certainly. Again, I'm not asking anybody I'm teaching. And if people would like to listen, you're welcome to learn. If not, I don't care. But it's fucking hilarious because, again, we just, we're almost done with the book of Genesis. And there is, no, there is no consistency between what people say is religion, which, again, is just idiot people trying to translate historical events in the actual historical books, in the actual historical events. And I have the intuition of everybody. So, be nice. Fuck you. But it's fucking hilarious. Maze that causes tears. Wait till, wait till all of my shit blows up. Because it's like you can, you can deny one thing I do over here, one thing I do over here, and then if everything comes out of everything I've done, there's no chance you can deny anything I've said. Because I don't, I don't, I'm not making statements. I'm not conjecturing. I am just stating fucking facts. I figured this shit out. Right? I made the most important discoveries in human history. Me, Brad, this guy. And every dirty, fucking, nasty, lying, stealing thieves that just lays on their back and comes and says, okay, when I'm getting tortured, gets, gets, gets tears if, if they're a great hero that they've never read the Bible, they've never read any history books. Again, I'm reading the Bible after I've read most all other history books. Mine is like Immanuel Kant and John Smith or The Wealth of Nations or whatever. Pretty much every other major historical book I've read. And so it's just like, people are just so fucking illiterate. They don't have any values and then they cry when they hear facts they don't like. So transgender, probably not homosexual, almost certainly. But we'll get there in the Bible study. Because you ain't going around Mary Magdalene and not clapping cheeks, you know. Sauruses, pterosauruses, P-T-A-R-O, pterosaurs exhibit, launches at Kosai in Columbus, Ohio. Fan of the Kosai, went there last year. Had a nice little, uh, nice little Mike DeWine sticker on the car I parked next to in some random lots. As I'm watching you. It's like, yeah, I know, Mike DeWine. Fuck you, old man. Congrats on the re-election, brother. Brother. Brother, you and Elaine Bryan can do great, great things for the state of Ohio's. Yeehaw. Fucking stupid cunt. How's Becky doing? Oh, she's still dead. But there was at least two. I mean, when I, when I just have, is it possible that dinosaurs were pets? I think so. Again, the dinosaurs don't know the exact age. In human history in our current form, I... I approximately about 50,000 years. Dinosaurs about 450 million years. And so when Sasha Mama, clearly in the know, walks past me and says there was at least two. I just have this intuition. It's like, were dinosaurs pets? 
if not all of the dinosaurs. But again, I, I just have this intuition, like I keep thinking dinosaurs just flew away. And so it's like, look how much we like dogs and cats, how integrated those are into our society. And so if there was at least two, which there was at least two, so there are, they, they come in threes. <laughs> but um, I, just, I just have this intuition that there was, there's dinosaurs as pets for one of these two other intelligent civilizations that have been here on Earth. So, and part of my intuition can't prove it definitively. And again, my, my knowledge runs out at about 50,000 years, and 450 million years is a little, little, little out of my pay grade. It'll pass my knowledge base. So, but I definitely have heavy intuition that some dinosaurs were pets. And because we obviously have this big historical event, where did the dinosaurs go? Well, if they were pets and a part of an uh, intelligent civilization, they would just pack it and leave with the civilization. If they had the planet hop or something. So I'm thinking there's, there's dinosaurs for pets, and that's kind of why we have this big thing of where did the dinosaurs go in our society. Monogamy is 0% historically supported by religious text, Ben Shapiro. If you watch another Ben Shapiro episode, you can work through the Bible. But yeah, we, we've, in the Bible so far, we've had basically a bunch of people building altars and praying, figuring out how to uh, rationalize and make decisions for themselves, you know, under goodwill or, you know, make the right decision. Everyone wants land, wealth, family, and, and we slid on some ops. We, we, you know, we finessed Esau out of his, out of his fortune. We dipped out. It's just the story of human beings, and it says, his, supported by religious, or Ben Shapiro saying monogamy is historically relevant, specifically to the or Jewish tradition, which is the Torah, which is the first five books of the Bible. But yeah, when we're having our concubines, having, come in, having someone come in unto us, yeah, it doesn't sound very monogamistic, but here's a concubine, Hagar, uh, a Sarai, Sarah couldn't have any kids, so we're gonna have Hagar have a kid. So it definitely, definitely sounds like monogamy, not progeny, having children, reproduction, proliferation, the many. You will, you will have many lands and many kids and many she-goats and oxen and the bearded spotted goats. It doesn't sound like monogamy to me. It sounds like living life. But again, that's what I'm saying. Is these people do not know history. They are not educated. They're just talking heads that everyone listens to because they're also illiterate. I'm the one person that's read all of this shit and everyone just doesn't listen because they can't change their fucking behavior. And so again, monogamy, the, the trend to monogamy, 100% I'm absolutely biologically certain it's the efficiency of just having one sexual partner. You see some, you see, you see Sarai with that big ass Kulo walking through with that wagon on her. And it's like, oh, you want that and then you're lustful. And then you're lustful. And then you do the boinky boinkies. And then Donah gets defiled. And then you, you, you kind of realize it's like everyone does the sex. So it's like, you kind of like, yeah, that person's attractive and I'd rather build a life or a relationship past just the physical. And so, yeah, that, that, that the historical trend of monogamy, just everyone liked everyone. People get married and they're still attracted to other people, but which is just more, it's more efficient to just have one sexual partner. But it's not historically supported by religious texts in any context whatsoever. So just make shit up, just make shit up and say whatever the fuck you want to fit your delusions. So you personally, you people, you personally don't have to change your behavior. Watched, I uh, listened to Logan Paul's music, Out of My Hair, and uh, 2020. I actually thought, well, I think it was bad for pop songs. I've, I've watched the, the Impulsive uh, podcast pretty religiously. But um, he, uh, I heard him review saying his own music was, was terrible or bad. I didn't think it was bad for pop music. And fuck you, Logan Paul. I wish I could, wish I could be a, a, a person just, you know, Make fifty thousand dollars a year, not fly on private jets, which is to have a fleet of them, but just just to do something in this life, just to fucking experience something. But out of my hair, it's seventy-eight million views, so that's that's no joke. And twenty twenty wasn't bad. I think it had like thirteen million views or something. For pop music, I didn't think it was. I thought it was fine. I thought it was a little bit of a bop. And Mark Cuban says he'd be afraid to go to jail. Going, be, be afraid of going to jail for a long time. If he were Sam Bankman freed, LOL. LOL fucking L. Mark Cuban must spend the rest of his life in fucking prison. And I want every single penny that worthless fucking trash is fucking stolen from me. His daughter, Alexis Cuban, is over 18 years of age and stealing my intellectual property. Everything she's done needs to go to fucking zero as well. <laughs> and so, it's just, again, you guys live in this bubble where it's like, once you commit so much fucking criminal activity, once you're such a disgusting, fucking person, it doesn't count anymore, then you go back to judging other people. 
Again, Sam Baker Freed obviously is a piece of fucking shit. Should go to fucking jail. I, you get nasty, weird, insecure, little fat fuck. Silicon Valley is saviors. But Mark Cuban it, it has been stealing my property prolifically for six fucking straight years and has defrauded me. Sam Brinkman Freed defrauded investors out of $10 billion. Publish my paper, identify my research to its full extent in public, and we'll see how fast I generate $10 billion of income. And so how much time should you go to jail for Mark Cuban? None. You should just, just because your, your Fed friends who again have committed treason and killed more fucking people and people could fucking count, tell you that you'll go to jail, which is hilarious. They tell you you'll go to jail if you don't keep committing crimes. And they're the government and law enforcement. <laughs> and they're starting wars. <laughs> One less dumb fucking animal I will ever have to fucking teach. One dumb less fucking animal I'll ever have to fucking talk to, like a Carl Brown or a Jordan George. Let me leave, you're stupid fucking kids. They're so goddamn fucking stupid. Mark Cuban, you're a nasty piece of shit. Your family's fucking disgusting. You're a criminal, I'm gonna see it that you go to fucking prison and your bank account goes to fucking zero. You're a terrible, terrible fucking person. Kick him out of society. Kick his family out of fucking society. If Alexis Cuban doesn't have to think about money and I do, then don't let her sit down in a fucking restaurant. Not because I'm mad, not because I'm vengeful. You guys are slowing down the progress of human sp the human species today for real. And you just can't fucking change. You fucking can't. If you could, you would. <sighs> Hawaii's Mauna Loa, world's largest active volcano, starts to erupt for the first time in almost four decades. Fucking let's go. Bomb-o. Blow this shit up, Mauna Loa. Put this shit on lock. Get this shit wiped this the fuck out. The floor is lava. Hope so. Fucking hope so. And the last talking point for today is we have Sabine Hasenfelder. It's a littered German bitch. What does that mouth do? Not that much because she's got a genetic defect. Do you still give head all right, Sabine? Like you suck dick all right? Does your hub hubby with your small ass tits? Does he still get off on, off, off, off on the small titties with your small mouth? Dumb cunt. She says, there are quite a few areas where physics blurs into religion. LOL, what are you talking about? Everyone's just committing fraud. The relig religious people, which is again, scholars trying to translate what occurred in history. I'm part of his, I am history and the historian. But there, there's, 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 there's no physics and there's no religion. There's just a bunch of people trying to use words to describe the world around them. And I've committed, pr proven so much scientific fact that people can't open their mouth without stealing from me. And they refuse to cite me. They refuse to commit actions that are proven healthy for the species. So there's no religion, there's no science, there's no economics. There's just individuals on this planet that refuse to do their fucking job that hurt people. Primarily me. And nobody fucking cares. I have never met a single human being capable of giving a fuck about fucking anything. Themselves, their family, their community, their job, their career. They're, you're just pathetic, selfish, incompetent, fucking losers. So again, Sabine Hosenfeld is another dumb cunt with 500 YouTube subs. Well, you're going to go to jail. I'm going to see to it that your bank account goes to zero. If you ever get out of fucking jail, I'm going to do everything I fucking can. Every penny that I make to kick you the fuck out of society. In the same way you kicked me out. So fucking hilarious. People literally torture me, telling me to be nice. Whether you're alien or human or extra. Again, if you're extra, that's human adjacent. Aliens are the ones that just appear. I don't give a fuck. I get literally go threaten a bear in the woods. And then, and then say, don't attack me, I have an iPhone. So if you're an alien and you're civilization's owner, you call me six years old. Did you teach everybody of your species? I did. So fuck out of my face. As I'm being tortured. As I'm being fucking tortured. And I'm going to be tortured until I'm fucking dead. So thank you for watching Language, Litigation, and Integration, Part 163, Casual Conversations 81. I'm your host. My name is Bradley Bose. I am being profoundly and extensively tortured. There is nothing I can do. There is nowhere I can go. And there is no one I can call. I am going to be tortured until the, until the day that I die by fucking illiterate trashy retards. But I still can't believe Bob Iger's back. So, at least we got some positives today. So thank you for watching and see you on the next one.